My name is Tim Walsh. I'm the Chief of Special Operations for the Chicago Fire Department. I've been with the Fire Department 34 years now. Uh, I was a Captain of Rescue One. I was the Training Officer for Special Operations for five years. Fire Departments have become an all-hazards agency, so we respond to everything. Uh, swift water rescue, vertical rescue, confined space rescue, trench rescue, and that all ties to rope. Pretty much every discipline that we make rescues in are all baseline rope jobs. So our ability to operate with rope in an emergency situation always falls back to our training. So the catalyst for us purchasing the Harkin Industrial Winch was we, we have several uh, buildings here in the city of Chicago that have blind shaft elevators. One of those being the John Hancock building. And about nine months ago, we had a blind shaft elevator rescue in the John Hancock building. We were able to effect the rescue uh, by breaching a wall on the 87th floor and tunneling into the elevator shaft and rescuing those people from, from an exterior wall where the elevator shaft was located. But it was quite evident to us that if we had to go on rope and rappel down to make that rescue, that it would be pretty labor intensive to haul manpower and tools up and down using uh, mechanical advantage systems that are available to, to us now. We spoke to Harkin Industrial and elevated safety about options uh, immediately and they talked to us about the winch that they use uh, for bridge inspections and I said this is a great tool this is a tool that I have to have for my rescue guys and we were able to get money from the city to go ahead and purchase those tools and purchase the training and it was quite obvious to us that the tools and the techniques that we were being shown would not only enhance rescue capability here in the city but would provide the citizens the necessary service that they deserve and since we've received this training and installed the Harkin Industrial Winch and all four of our rescue companies, we've utilized those tools, I would say weekly, to make rescues all across the city. Our mountains are high-rise buildings and ravines, uh, which we operate in. Uh, over the last two years in the city of Chicago, we've had over 60 tower cranes up and operating. On a daily basis, we probably have, in the neighborhood, of 15 companies that are actually assigned to the Special Operations Division that respond to building collapse, technical rescue, explosions, hazardous materials incidents, and people in the water. So I think what Elevated Safety and Harkin offers us is the ability to draw from information from not only all over the continental United States, but with their recent participation in GRIMP, both in North America and at the world level, it allows us to draw uh, information and tools and techniques from all across the world. 